Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Well, it is currently early, early, early Saturday morning. It is currently, what time does that say? I need my reading glasses on. I am too old. I am too old to be trying to, this is what you do. This is when you, you know that you need reading glasses is when you go to the restaurant and you hold the menu out that far, okay? If you're already there, just let me do you a favor, okay? Get on my favorite website, Caddis, or well, what you need to do first, okay, is either go to your eye doctor and have them test your eyes for what uh, level you need, or go to Walmart or Meyer where they have one of those little testing stations. That's what I did first. And you find out your magnification that you need, like I'm 1.5, right? And then you won't have to be doing that stuff anymore. You hold the menus out that far. Or you put a, you get a magnify, this is a true story, this is when you know you're getting older, okay? Is that you get that magnifying application on your phone, okay? You ain't worried about the social media apps anymore, trust, okay? You get one of those uh, magnifying glasses so that you can like read menus and things like that or things you have to sign, like receipts. My cousin, her font, because she wears reading glasses too and she loves this brand, Caddis, um, she um, has her font so big on her phone, and we were down in her basement the other night for Halloween playing games, and um, <laughs> and her um, her son's girlfriend said, "Oh my God, does that go any higher?" Like she had it, she has it so big, like the letters are really like this big, right? And I looked over because she was sitting right next to me. I go, Caroline. <laughs> She goes, what? It just makes it easier to see. And I go, I know it. You can only get about two sentences on an entire page of your phone. So anyway, that's when you know that you need reading glasses. So let's see what time it is. It is currently 1.54. My husband just went to bed. Um, we have been up all night long watching TV shows and um, had some dinner tonight. We got Puccini's, which is one of our favorite local restaurants. Every time I put something on this table, the table, like, you know, shake, rattles, and rolls. So... Let me be very gentle. Do you see I just did that, right? Let me be very careful. I need a Diet Coke. So uh, we got Puccini's tonight. I got pasta. And they did not deliver my salad. I was very upset about that. But I did get a refund, so that was okay. And Alex got pizza. Cheese pizza. A large cheese pizza all to himself. And then we were watching all his shows. We watched... Um, well, he's watching the original Ugly Betty for like, it's not called that, I don't know what it's called, but for like the fourth time or something like that, or is it called Ugly Betty, but in Spanish, I don't know. But he loves that show so much. So, um, we, he, we watch, he's watching it for like the fourth time. They say second or fourth time, I can't remember. He watches shows over and over and over again. My husband's like, watch Gossip Girls, Gossip Girls, Gossip Girl. No, I'm the Gossip Girls, okay? <laughs> That's what the drama community, co drama uh, commentary community is. We're the Gossip Girls. Um, he has watched Gossip Girl so many times. He has watched, uh, there's so many shows. He got so excited tonight because there's like a new season of Elite. And he's like, oh my God, it's a new season of Elite. He loves that show too. So there's so many shows that he watches and he just watches them over and over again. And then if he finds out there's like a new season, he was devastated when he, the, the reboot of Gossip Girl got canceled last year. But when he finds out that like that like a show is like starting like next week or something, he'll watch like the entire six seasons in a week so that he's prepared for it. <laughs> he does this with American Horror Story. He does it with all of them, right? So anyway, cheers. Um, so here's the deal. Can you tell I'm in a much much better mood today? I'm in a, in a great mood. Today was very much like a sit back, Peter, and eat your popcorn and just watch it all unfold kind of thing, right? Just watch, just watch a shit storm unfold that you are thankfully not part of. Um, but I have so many opinions, and I'm really in a I don't give a fuck mood. So I'm just gonna say what those opinions are. Tomorrow we have a really really busy day. When you're watching this, we have. Um, well, I got it all out of order. I thought that we had this sprinkle first, and then we had this, like, um, conference thing that Alex has to go to for, like, an hour, which I think is when I'm going to vlog during that time, because I'm not going to this thing with him. I'm just going to, like, sit in the car and wait. So, and then after that, we're going to our nephew's birthday party. So, we have that to do tomorrow. But, um, I thought that that was the order, but I guess we're doing the conference first, and then we have to go shopping to buy white and black Crocs for my nephew because he's like obsessed with, all the kids love the white Crocs, right? <laughs> like he's obsessed with them. And so we got him some for Christmas last year, but now he wants white and black ones. So um, we gotta get those tomorrow, and then we have to also get a present for the sprinkle, and then we're after the sprinkle, we're going to um, my nephew's birthday party. So 
It's gonna be a very long day. I don't know that I'm gonna have time to, to film a lot tomorrow. I said on all my channels I was probably taking tomorrow off, but I'm filming this so that I have something to post tomorrow. And again, I was going to watch the Jaclyn Hill video and I was gonna respond to that. I'll probably do that on Sunday or Monday now because I started getting massively sent this by people. So we're gonna talk about trend mood. Um, being, a, being a predator protector. <laughs> I feel like that word is just like so old at this point, right? <sighs> Oh, spill sesh. Oh, spill sesh, your comment section. I'm sorry, honey, but it's just filled with that word. It's just, it's completely filled with the word predator protector. I just sat there and ate my popcorn and read your comment sections. Girl, it was a good show in there, okay? It was a good show. And I said in my video that, you know, she's she's beautiful, I said, right? But, like, I also went on to say, like, she's smart and, like, I thought she was. I thought she made good choices. I don't think that so much. After today, I don't think this was a good choice. I think it's going to bite her down the ass. This is where, like... If you've been around as long as I have, you can kind of see it through a little bit. And there's, like, things that she shared in her video that, like, I wouldn't have shared. Like, I would never have shared that I work for TMZ, number one. Number two, um, I wouldn't have shared that I was going to a bunch of influencer parties when I moved to L.A. And number three, I wouldn't have shared that I basically would have done anything in the world to have a successful channel, you know? I wouldn't have said those things. Because then you start painting a picture of yourself, especially when you're, like, laughing with Manny MUA, and you're like, stop! Oh my god, stop. Now we have to go out to a club. Like, no, girl, that's not a cute look, is it? It's a drama commentary channel. I'm sorry, it's just not, okay? And four or five years ago, when we were all covering all that kind of stuff, all of us OGs out there in the drama commentary channel that had to exist for you to have your huge channel today, all and, and we, all of us, knew we were never going to have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. We just knew that, okay? So listen, it's not about jealousy, because people be like, you're so, I'm not jealous, Okay, I never thought I'd have 100,000 subscribers, trust me. I never thought I'd have 40,000 subscribers. Go back and watch those videos, okay? You talk about Neen Depends, I about shit myself when I hit 40,000 subscribers and was thankful for every single one of them. Go watch my booktube video when I hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm bawling on camera, okay? Because that was more people than I graduated from high school with. And I was like, and they're willingly watching my videos or not being forced to. Like, I just, it was unbelievable to me. And the support and the love that I've received through the years since I started that channel is just unbelievable to me, you know, and all of my channels. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, I don't find a need to put it in my Instagram profile or my Twitter profile, how many subscribers I have. I don't. I don't find the need to do that. Congratulations if you're one of those people, Spill Sesh, that does that. But I'm not one of those people that feels the need to do that, okay? Like, I don't need pat, pat on my back moments. I just don't. Like, I just feel so fucking blessed that I get to get up every single day with my integrity and share my honest opinion because I don't have people that I have to answer to because I want to be able to uh, look anybody in the face, okay? I'm not really worried about going out to a club or an influencer party and seeing those people that I'm talking about and then wishing I hadn't said things in videos so that in the future I don't say those same things in the videos or maybe I'm a little softer because I know I'm going to see those people at influencer parties and those influencer parties are really important to me, okay? And you made that very clear in your video today. So I really, like I said in my video earlier, like I had to think a little bit more about this and I have and um, yeah, not, not impressed, not impressed at all. Um, so I just sat back and ate my popcorn today. Where am I getting to? Oh, so tomorrow we have this baby sprinkle. <laughs> that is so much more important than this bullshit, isn't it? Okay, well, I think you guys think it is because I saw you over there that were talking about, oh my God, she's so pretty. She's so beautiful. Slay, you're gorgeous. I always knew you were going to be slay and all that kind of stuff, right? And I even said in my video, I said, she's beautiful, right? Like she is. And I went on to talk about how hard she had worked for her channel, which is why I'm not really sure why you would want to throw your integrity away for a channel that you've worked so hard for literally with one video, okay? I also kind of, to be honest with you, feel like you have waited seven years to do a face reveal. Has she been around for seven years? Everybody keeps on saying seven years, seven years, seven years, right? Like, I don't feel like Spill Sesh's channel has been up that long or she wasn't really like doing that much. Well, I'm gonna go back in here and see her videos. Oldest video that she has posted is four years ago. Manny MUA, oh, she hasn't been around for seven years. That was her first video. Manny MUA tries to shut down drama channels. Okay, that was four years ago. It was 8.8 thousand views. What was the video that she said that just totally took... Olivia J gets caught in college scandal. She said that... She, is that the video that she said? 
she posted. No, that can't be it because that's only at 11,000 views. Let's see the video that like really made her take off. She kind of says it like she was on a plane and then, oh, here it is. Olivia Jade being extra rich for five minutes straight. That got her, she went from getting 15,000 views to getting 1.6 million views. Okay, and I just want to tell you, um, I've been around long enough. Okay, and, and heard from people that literally were getting five, six, five, six, five, ten, five, ten thousand views, and then they all of a sudden get like five hundred thousand to a million views. It's smoke and mirrors, y'all. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. I am buying it, okay? Um, there's a lot of going on behind the scenes of stuff. I just wanna tell you that. I don't I don't I don't believe that, that naturally that video just went live and she was on a plane and she woke up and she got these views. I don't believe that story, okay? Prove me wrong. I don't believe that story for so many people. One of which I never speak of on this channel anymore, okay? But, like, there are so many people that I know that literally told me what they did to get those views and contrive views. And then people started subscribing to them because they were getting all these views. And it's, it's all smoke and mirrors, okay? I've always said, I don't care what kind of views I'm getting or what kind of subscribers I have. But I want to I know that... I'm not having to do a bunch of stuff on the back end. So, I don't know. She says on there that she, listen, I'm all for somebody being wanting to be successful. I think, like, somebody said in there, you worked hard, you deserve to be successful. Who doesn't deserve to be successful? And they said, you really wanted to be successful. Who doesn't want to be successful? Do you wake up today and you think to yourself, God, I want to be a fucking failure? <clears throat> Who thinks that, okay? I'm not sure that I'm willing to sell out my integrity for it. And that's what I was going to say, okay? That all these people are like, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. She's so she is beautiful. She's an absolutely beautiful girl, right? Um, I don't know <clears throat> for, like... <sighs> You know, she, she said she wants to be, like, this investigative reporter in, like, 60 Minutes and things like that. I'm not really sure to people like Barbara Walters, Diane Sawyer, that they really cared so much. Well, Diane Sawyer is kind of getting a bad rap now, right? So she's not. But, you know, there's all those kind of, you know, people that were interviewing people left and right back in the day, like the Barbara Walters specials before the Oscars and stuff like that, right? We all know that she was, like, mean as shit now. So we know. There's, like, really, there's like really not any good people out there anymore to talk about, right? An investigative journalist, whoever, right? So... If, if you really want to be an investigative journalist, I don't know necessarily that the number one comment that I would want to get would be, like, that everybody would... I don't know. Like, I guess I would want to be known more for my integrity than my looks. And honestly... And I didn't just say in my video, she's pretty, which I, I said she was. And she's a beautiful girl, isn't she? But I went on to say that she worked very hard. Her editing skills are very good and things like that. You know, people are like, God, you work so hard. You work so hard to her, right? And I'm like... I filmed seven videos today and published them. My vlog was 42 minutes. My other video was an hour and 15 minutes. Now I know this is what people are going to say. They're going to say, yeah, but you don't edit your videos. You're right, I don't. She works much harder editing her videos. I totally get it, right? So you're going to find a good edit on her, on her channel. But you know what you're not going to find on my channel? Collaborations with Predator Protectors. So, I don't know. Six of one, half a dozen the other. I guess you might want to go with a better edit, right? Okay. Over here, you're going to find the truth. So, this is where we speak the truth over here, right? Oh, my God. Do you think her and her friends will have viewing parties in my videos? Oh, my God. Do you think they will? Hey, Spilly, this one's for you. Love you so much, girl. Not. Anyway, um, so... I'm just, like, real disappointed today, like, all over... I'm just, like, so disappointed. Like, I sat back, and like I said, it's, like, a moment to just, like, eat your popcorn, Peter, and, like, just watch it all unfold in real time. But the reality is, because we're going to talk about Trend Mood here in a second, who, I mean, I've heard shitty stuff about Trend Mood for years. Nothing that she does surprises me. I have heard, I, I've heard this. I don't know this to be true, okay? I heard she's quick with the Sue. So, I'm just saying, I don't know, Sally Sue, Sue Jones, I don't know, okay? But I know she knows Sue very well, okay? So, I have to, I have to be very careful about what I say about Trend Mid. I heard, allegedly, okay, that she loves the coin. She loves the Chanel purses. She loves the coin. Oh, she loves a good influencer party. She loves to get invited to influencer parties. She shows up there. She has her picture taken with some influencers, you know, like Manny MUA and James Charles and those kind of people. She has, uh, she loves all that, right? And people constantly are calling her out for displaying problematic people. And she's like, listen, folks, okay? Like, what I cannot stand is when these people, like, people all the time want to come over to my channel and be like, you are not open to criticism at all. And I'm literally sitting in a video where people are telling me that I said things that I didn't say, and no, I'm not fucking over it yet, <laughs> okay? I'm not. 
when y'all are kissing the ass of somebody that has a predator protector and their face reveal, their biggest video that they're ever gonna do, and y'all are kissing this person's ass, but then you call me out for saying something that I never said in a video, oh, well, you insinuated it. No, I didn't even fucking insinuate it, right? And you're more upset with me than her having... Girl, it ain't just about the fact that Spill Sesh ha go Go look at her follow list, okay? Or the fact that she has, um... You know what? I didn't even do that. I did that, uh... Last time I looked, I don't even remember when I did it. I don't want to get out of all this kind of stuff. But let's look her up really quick. Spill Sesh. Okay. She only follows 176 people, so not that many people. She probably doesn't... Oh! Girl! Oh, well, now this is all making sense. She follows James Charles... Okay, girl, so since you call him, oh, she follows Colleen Ballinger. Her friends follow James Charles and Colleen Ballinger. Girl, okay, and I already made it clear. Do not sit here and say to me because I looked, okay? You don't follow a lot of people that you talk about. So it's not that you have to follow those people to see the T, okay? I talk about those people. I talk about their, fucking Jaclyn Hill's got me blocked. I can't even look at her Instagram off of my main account. I had to make a fake account just for Jaclyn Hill to look at, okay? So you don't have to follow those people for the news. That's bullshit, okay? So you have Manny MUA in your video and you follow James Charles and... Colleen Ballinger. Can you please make this make sense to me? Okay? You know, I, like... Anderson Cooper always kind of gets a bad rap for this, but he says that he doesn't vote. And a lot of, like, news people don't vote because they want to report authentically and they don't want, like, their political beliefs, whatever, to... It's not just Anderson Cooper. It's a lot of people that feel this way, right? Why journalists don't vote. There's a huge... This is a huge topic of discussion, right? Can you explain to me why um, drama commentary channels... You know, a lot of people have been coming to me lately and they have been saying, well, you support this person and this person still follows that person. Well, Spill says she follows Colleen Ballinger and James Charles. A lot of her friends do too. Y'all don't take issue with that. Okay. You think that they can, they can report unbiasedly when they're following those people? <sighs> but you know what? Let's go in here and let's look at... Actually, let me hold on real quick. Let's go in here and see. Let me go into my, hold on a second. Don't try to cheat. I'm going into my side account right now. Okay, here's my side account. Now let's look up Spill Sesh. Because in my side account is where um, I can see all the other accounts. Because they don't have me blocked over there. Like Jeffree Star, he has me blocked. and uh, Well, not on Twitter, he doesn't have me blocked. But he has me blocked on, why is this not pulling up? Because I'm trying to do it, so I can't see, use my glasses. Spill Sash. Okay, here she is, Spill Sash. Now, let's see who she... Okay, does she follow Olivia Jade? Olivia Jade. A girl, you follow... Why are you following these people that you are that you talk about being so fucking problematic? You follow Jeffree... She's going to follow all of them, I bet. She follows Jeffree Star. Mm-hmm. Jaclyn Hill. She oh no, wait. Yo, there she is. She fought. This bullshit, I just want to tell you, okay? I have no problem making videos. I actually, it was interesting. I saw somebody say, Spill Sesh has been regurgitating videos that other people have done or old T, week old T for the last year. Like somebody said that. Like, no wonder she's coming out with her face reveal now. Um, and then they said, because she's been regurgitating week old tea for the last year. And I was like, mm, that's interesting because I hadn't really thought of that. But what I had thought was that every time I make a video or every time I see somebody else make a video, it's like the next day or the two days after that, I see that she makes videos and other people do. Right. Um, and then that's interesting to me. But then she said in her videos, like Manny asked her where she gets her ideas for videos. And she said, well, I kind of watch other videos and see what's going on. I'm like, girl, seriously, we're doing all the work for Spill Sesh. Where's my paycheck? I want to be on the payroll, please. Oh, no, I don't because you get your money from Manny. So that's not worth it to me. I wonder what favors were exchanged for that. I heard behind the scenes that you did kind of want to exchange some favors with Manny, but I don't know if that's true, okay? I'm just saying, girl. I've heard that from a couple people. So anyway, um, but we won't get into that today. We'll just, hold on a second. 
we just stick that right there in that pocket and keep that safe and warm for another cozy night of talking. Okay, you can tell I'm real fucking over Spill Sash, can't you? I'm disappointed and I'm real over it. Because I feel like there's so many people out there, and people want to know, they're like, I mean, so many times do I see people say, we're going to talk about this just in a second, okay? So Spill says you need to read the room. Because I went over her to her comment section. Girl, let's just read some of them comments tonight. I wasn't going to do this. I was just going to read the, because I was just copying them to save them for down the road. Somebody said, but devil's advocate, if you're close to Manny, will you report on his support of Colleen Ballinger? Oh, just, girl, she supports Colleen Ballinger. She follows Colleen Ballinger on Instagram. Why would she care? And somebody said, and James Charles. And then somebody said, I've been watching this channel. Okay, I've been watching this channel for a few years now, following through drama, following through uh, with this channel being my little news outlet on recent drama with celebrities, influencers, whatever. I think it's a disappointment. And I just want to tell you this, and when I'm talking about who she follows, I said this in a video of mine. I went a couple months ago and unfollowed every influencer, okay? I have no need to follow any influencer anymore. When they show up on my, t my Twitter, I unfollow them as well. I have no need to follow an influencer as a drama commentary channel. Enough of you guys out there send me the information. I can find it on my own. I can, if you're that big of a researcher that you used to work for TMZ and you want to be an investigative reporter, then you can too. There's no reason to follow these people. Following them to me equals support. Don't give me the bullshit about, well, it makes their job easier. I don't fucking care. You think it's really that hard to type into your search button, James Charles, or come up with a sock account because Jacqueline Hill, did you see how quick it took me to go look up that account? Jacqueline Hill's got me blocked on my main account. She don't know what my side account is. She has no clue. Either does Jeffree Star, okay? Do you see how quick it took me to do that? Oh, but this makes her... Don't even give me for one fucking second that that makes... I, every single day, I go over to those people's Instagrams and I look at all of them, okay? Just to see if there's something I need to report on. It takes me literally less than 10 minutes to do that. There's no reason why you need to follow these people, okay? I, I don't understand it. I made excuses before, and I said, I think a lot of drama commentary channels, I take that back. I think that's bullshit. I don't think that there's anybody that needs to be following Colleen Ballinger or James Charles, period, okay? You want to follow one of the people that support them? Maybe that's a different story. But there's no reason in 2023, with all the evidence that is out there, to follow James Charles or Colleen Ballinger for whatever reason, okay? James Charles, who is still getting sponsorships, having launches, things like that. Colleen Ballinger, who is still trying to rebuild her career. A, a follow equals support, period, end of story, okay? So there's no reason why you need to follow those people. And as far as being a drama commentary channel, if you're following those people and to me and you're having protectors in your videos, girl, this is like, I, you are not who I thought you were. Like you are literally like, I am so disappointed because I thought you were one person out there that had like had some real integrity. And what's so interesting to me is I was reading through the comments and people were like, oh my God, I really thought that it was Morgan. I thought it was Morgan. Why didn't you fucking have Morgan? She would have done that video with you. Why didn't you have Morgan do the reveal with you? That would have actually been a really cute video. People would have fucking lived for that. The Manny reveal, even though he was your first video that you did years ago, who the fuck cares, girl? Okay? My first video was, I'm starting a booktube channel. I don't know what this is going to be. So if I'm going to do an anniversary video, does every anniversary video have to be about that? Why? It just, it doesn't even make any sense, okay? Like, it, it just doesn't make any sense at all. It actually is a bigger hit for you to come out and have, like, Morgan do the reveal video for you. Did you ask her and she wouldn't do it? You know? And I love all these people that are like, all your friends were keeping your secret. Girl, no, they weren't. <laughs> your friends weren't keeping your secret at all. I've been knowing who you were for six months, girl. Seriously. I knew your first name. I knew who you were when you were popping up in people's pictures. I was like, oh, there's Spill Sesh again. I'll tell you who was good about keeping your secret was Peter fucking Mon, okay? Because I had no I had no play in the game. So there was no reason why I couldn't have gotten a video and been like, see this gal right here, okay, at Coachella? That's her. See this girl right here, here? See her with this influencer? Girl, I didn't do that. I had no I had no play in the game, okay? I didn't care that deeply. And in all honesty, I thought you fucking had some integrity. What I know now is, this is so weird. Like, I literally had my phone like this, and then I turned it over. Did you see the light go away? That was so weird, wasn't it? Like, I'm not that technological, so I don't get stuff like that. But girl, why did you need to do this video with Manny? No, it's because you guys are friends, and you have a weird friendship, okay? I'm just saying, I've heard about conversations behind the scenes, okay? So anyway, from uh, very valid sources, so from many different people, not just one, okay? So anyway, this whole thing to me was so weird, and I have to just tell you, 
conversations that I've heard behind the scenes about ways that she talks about Manny, that was even weirder to me, okay? That her giggling and stuff and slay or whatever she said in her video, I just was like, this is so uncomfortable to watch if you know what I do. No behind the scenes, okay? Girl, seriously. <laughs> like I said, like that little pit pocket right there for safekeeping. Wake, watch. Tomorrow morning I'll wake up and this cop coat will have been stolen with all my secrets in it. But baby, them secrets are up there. Okay? So anyway. I am so disappointed in this whole thing. Okay? So literally, before I get into this. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Don't use that excuse that if you're a drama commentary channel, you have to follow these people. Okay? There's no reason to. I unfollowed all these people and I just got more views, okay? So that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean it takes 10 minutes to go in and look at these people, all their things, and all kind of stuff. There's no reason why you need to follow. That's why I follow all them animal Look at, you want guys, you don't believe me about this? Okay, look. Let's get out of Spilly for a second. I don't even follow her. Oh wait, we gotta get back to my, don't be looking, don't be trying to cheat and find out my side account. Okay, back to my main account. Y'all wanna see, this is the kind of stuff that I post over here, okay? This little house. Okay, where animals dig in the ground and live. Oh, wait, here's my next story, okay? Where is it? Here's another little house where people, animals, I ain't worried about influencer parties. Girl, Tina Mojo can go fuck herself. I wouldn't go to one of her parties if she invited me. I sure as shit wouldn't go to no vlog squad party, okay? Y'all are so ate up with being famous and shit like that and knowing influencers. Girl, just give it two years, okay? You are literally going through what we went through four years from now. It's kind of embarrassing to watch, honestly. Like, you obviously didn't watch our videos and what went down with us bad enough. First of all, I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Is that you care too much what the influencers think, and you want to be friends with them and close to them, okay? So they're going to use that to their advantage. When they start using that to your advantage, okay, they are going to stop start gossiping behind your back to your friends that are also in the industry. It's going to cause a fr friction between those friendships, and then you and your friends that do the same thing on YouTube, are going to start fighting, okay? And then it's going to be an infighting and everybody's going to watch it happen and then you both are going to be spilling shit. You're going to be spilling into the secrets, okay? On your closest friends and coming out and telling shit about them. Girl, we didn't live this already, okay? History fucking repeats itself. Girl, we've seen this. We've seen drama channels meet uh, influencers before. We've seen it ruin their careers. We've seen people say that they are biased and not listen to anything that they said. But you thought it was a good idea? So you think you're better than all that, right? You think, it, girl, just sit back, watch. Girl, trust me, okay? Trust me, this is going to bite you in the ass. This was not a good choice. You having Morgan Adams that everybody thought you were anyway, that would have been a cute choice. You doing it by yourself, people would have lived for it, Okay. Girl, you could have done the song I Am What I Am and turned your swivel chair around and showed the whole world. Okay? You didn't need to do some slay video with Manny and MUA doing your makeup. First of all, I feel like that is so 2016. Let somebody do my makeup and show me on camera. What does the makeup, Manny and MUA doing your makeup, have anything to do with a face reveal to you, girl? I, to be honest with you, I would respect a face reveal that has no makeup on a little bit more, to be honest with you, okay? I, like, this is who I am. Take me as I am all day long. Look, this is me with my hair and everything, okay? Take me as I fucking am. Face reveal. It's bullshit is what it is. <laughs> just ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. Oh my God. You've your head so far up Manny's ass. Well, wait till Manny burns you the way that he did Sam. Okay? So that's the truth. Cheers to that. And the way that Manny burned a bunch of other people, right? Yeah. Let me tell you, okay? Manny used to always live for me and give me really nice DMs and messages and all that kind of stuff. And thank you so much for this video and what. Until I started calling Manny out as being a predator protector. Then he unfollowed me on everything. His family unfollowed me on everything. And he doesn't support me anymore. So the second that you start calling him out, okay, for being a predator protector, which you probably should because it's the truth. And if you really take issue with James Charles like you say in your videos, then you would be calling anybody out that has allowed him to continue to have the success that he's had. So that he's used his platform to abuse, he's abused his platform, okay, to hurt people. If you have issue with that, then I think that you would have issue with anybody that is helping him have that platform. And I'm not just talking about a follow, okay? I'm talking about somebody that has been in PR, reviewed his makeup, been in videos with him, been to birthday parties with him, on and on and on. And Manny fits the script, okay? Manny can get fucked. It's just, it's too much, okay? That you care more about having Manny in your video. Like, that is such, that is such a weird move to me. 
<clears throat> it's giving, to be honest with you, it's giving very basic, girl, okay? Very basic. But you probably know that already because you're probably on the PR list for James Charles' new palette, basic. But anyway, um, and, that, and that palette's probably more... You learned that, didn't you? Not to show the PR that you get. You learned that from us, didn't you? Should have learned about these friendships, too, because this is going to bite you in the ass. It's going to bite you in the ass. And don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, the warning should have been all those times that you said that you were watching all the... Who do you think you're talking about when you're talking about drama channels? Okay? There was only about five or six of us around back then. You were watching us, okay? When you were, like, working and being in college and things like that and coming home for Christmas break, you said this in your video. You were watching us, okay? Should have took take, taken a lesson. Hold on, it's going to stop. It has taken years... It has taken years, okay, for the drama community to mend fences and be back on the same page, okay? And we got each other's backs today. Trust me, we do, okay? I thought you were part of that group. I guess you're not. I don't know, okay? Because I can tell you right now, myself and nobody that I know would have Manny and UA in a fucking video as a drama commentary channel unless we were going to put him in the hot seat and ask some tough questions, okay? I ain't having Manny in my video to do no fucking makeup on my face, okay? I could care less and I don't even think he does makeup that well. That's my opinion. My opinion has changed, okay? When I was back in my kissing Manny's ass phase, I used to thought that he did makeup. Good makeup. His makeup is basic. It's always the same. I don't care. Switch it up, girl. Switch it up, okay? Something. Do something different. It's like I told James Charles six years ago. He's like, I don't know how to reinvent myself. This is before all the drama. I said, James, again, being used by an influencer, and here I am, being completely stupid to it. And I said, James, I said, why don't you get a different haircut? You've had that don't say I'm body shaming him. That's a haircut choice, okay? Tracy Turnblad, that is a hair don't, okay, from a uh, hairspray. I said, why don't you get a different hairdo? You've, ha you've had that, like, mop on your hair look for, like, the last four years, right? He's like, girl, I cannot change my hairdo. I said, just shave your hair on video. People would fucking live for it. You would get so many... Shave my hair on video? People think his hair looks stupid anyway, okay? I didn't say that. I said people did. People do, <laughs> okay? So, listen... He making fun of his own hair in his own video anyway and all this kind of stuff. You know, he did this makeup reveal launch. I, this is another video I've got to be making, right? This palette reveal launch where he's making fun of his past selves. I'm like, why don't you make fun of your holding yourself account? Okay, I see the one with the ring light for the senior pictures. I see the one that's got the white paint all over your face and the baseball cap, okay? I see the one that you're singing. You're making fun of all... Why don't you make fun of the holding myself accountable, James Charles? I mean, you throw up birthday cakes that said, and I did it at my birthday dinner. So, what, if that's, if it's funny for your Instagram, it's funny for Daniel Prada, it's funny for Manny and all these people. It's all funny to laugh at that, right? That you're a perpetrator with victims. Why is it not funny to put in your makeup video? Oh, you don't want to bring attention to that? Well, you've already brought attention to that girl on your Instagram, okay? And Spilly, you're part of that, okay? Because you did not have Manny in your video. And even if you wanted to take down that video now because it's such a bad look. And I looked, and I have to tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. Because for a while, I kind of thought she was deleting comments, okay? I'll just be completely honest. I don't know if she is. I don't know if she's not. But I would look, and there would be, like, literally, like, no negative comments whatsoever. Now, I don't know if she was, and she got tired of deleting the negative comments because there were so many of them. Or if there weren't any until later when people were watching it. I have no clue. But all I know is that... That when I went back while we were sitting there watching TV and I was watching her video, it was literally like every third comment was like, girl, what is going on here? I can't believe this. Okay, so let's read some of those comments, shall we? And then we'll get to tr Trend Mood. She's next. She's probably hanging out with Sue right now trying to come for me. Okay, so she, this person says, okay, I've been watching this channel for a few years now, following through drama, following through what th this channel being my little new, with this channel being my... I don't understand what this says, but anyway, it's typo. This channel be my little news outlet on recent drama with celebrities, influencers, whatever. I think it's disappointing just knowing that you were already friends with influencers before even being Spill Sesh. I remember, for example, hearing the drama about the girl who brought her way into college, Olivia Jade. She said, for, forgot her name. And Spill Sesh going off on her saying how commoners like us couldn't buy our way into college. All these years you've been talking and talking about drama who concerns your friends. If you take such an issue with Olivia Jade getting into college, why the fuck are you following her on Instagram? Seriously? What's the need to follow her? You don't even do videos about Olivia Jade today. What is the need to follow her? I don't get it. Please, can you explain that to me? Okay, you follow 167 people. God... 
and spill stash going off in her. All these years you've been talking and talking about drama who concerns your friends. I feel like I've been deceived. You've been friends with people like Manny, Tana. What? Girl, very good friends with Manny. Okay, they acted like in this video that this was just kind of like this last minute thing. Like, oh my god, we should do this video together and blah, 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 whatever. No, they've been knowing each other for a long time. They've been, they've been close for a long time, having phone numbers of each other and things like that. Okay. I feel like I've been deceived. You've been friends with people like Manny, Tana, whatever, yet been talking about them on your channel, sometimes calling them out. I guess I'm still so confused. I miss the comfort old news outlet this channel was, and I really think you should have stayed anonymous to prevent such disappointment from people. I know I'm not the only one. I've seen lots of comments like this, or lots of comments. Honestly, I think this channel is not as authentic anymore. You're just another influencer talking about influencers in your world, not a regular person, regular making wage person. Sad, really. Was she ever? I don't know. Somebody said the new Raw Beauty Christie, everyone is on that Predator's payroll, apparently. And somebody said the list keeps getting longer. Predator, protector, protector. Um, goes on and on and on. Somebody said, uh, what's the catch? We know your content is compromised now since you're friends with all these terrible influencer people. Enjoy your fake Hollywood friendships, I guess. Somebody said, um... Congratulations on the face reveal. I personally don't care since I like your content for how it is, but now we have a issue, girly. Now I want I won't be now I won't be believing any content you report for Manny since I know you guys are friends now. XO. But see, Manny already knew this. Okay, I just want you to know this because Manny had the friendship with Sam from here for the tea. Sam got called out because Manny um, would do things and Sam wouldn't report on those things. Okay. I was here. I lived it. You were in college. Don't tell me I don't remember it. Okay. So Sam wouldn't report on those things. And then literally people would say in the, on Twitter, they would be like, and, and listen, okay. I, this is not the point of me bringing her up. A lot of people were like, why are they even acting like they were friendly with T spell or with, uh, here for the tea? Okay, so, and then they were like, oh, Sam was so problematic and stuff. She was. She was, okay? I mean, she was, right? Um, I, I'm still not okay with how things ended between she and I, still to this day, you know? It's something I'll have to live with for the rest of my life. Um, and it is what it is, but... Let's not play it out like it wasn't what it was with you and her, Manny, okay? Sam had your back so bad that she, and I'm not, I'm not making excuses for the things that she has said online. She has said horrific things to people, including myself, online, okay? Threaten me and things like that. I'm talking about, let's talk about her loyalty to you, Manny, all right? That she would literally have people come for her on and on and on over the fact that she would not make a video about you, Okay? And then she told you she had to make a video about you. You got shitty about it. All right? These are facts I've never talked about over here. You guys have no idea what I know and what people tell me. You know? I just sit there and I'll be like, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, really, girl? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Just store it up there. There's a couple of us out there. We know a lot of stuff that's been going on for seven years. Okay? Like I said, I could make that video, but I'm just going to throw it out from time to time. That's why you might want to stick around. You might find a few things. So Sam finally makes his video. Manny's not happy about it, right? So Sam stops making videos about Manny because the friendship is more important to her. Do you see how this works, Billy? Do you see how this works, okay? That you are now friends with Manny. Okay, there's an expectation there. There's an expectation there. Not to mention that Manny not only is a, a protector of uh, James Charles, but also said he felt really bad for Colleen Ballinger. Didn't you report pretty extensively on that situation? So you had somebody that is supportive of Colleen Ballinger and also never has spoken out about it, just unfollowed her. Never explained why they took the podcast down where he said those things. You're an investigative reporter or wannabe, but you couldn't even ask him those questions. Hey, Manny, while you're doing my lips, could you explain to me why y'all took the pod podcast down? Or is that something y'all you all talk about when you're out at the clubs? I don't know, because I don't have those kind of relationships with the influencers that I talk about. I don't need to. Because my audience is more important to me, and the truth and the authenticity is more important to me of what I am fucking saying than relationships with influencers, okay? But girl, listen, you are back where we were seven years ago. You will figure it out, and it will hurt your channel, okay? I hope it just doesn't just 
destroy a lot of friendships that mean something to you. Because that's what happened to a lot of us, is that we all started together and we all meant a lot to each other and the influencers got in between us and ruined us. Ask anybody that was there seven years ago, okay? It's exactly what fucking happened. They were telling people this, telling people that, telling people this, getting in our ears and ruining friendships, okay? They got, they all used us and then they used us against each other. That's what happened to destroy the drama community. But baby, we are still standing today, okay? We are still here. And part of why you have a channel is because we started and we took all of that shit, okay? So be a little thankful for the OGs that have been around and dealt with that shit first. Which is why I say I hope that we keep the same energy from people literally losing their fucking minds, okay? Over payroll, over a pallet, okay? I mean, literally, this was such a huge issue that all, all of us out there, and I even said I don't want... I don't want the PR anymore. Don't give it to me. That video that I made was such a huge issue and caused such a huge issue between me and my friends in the drama community because all this PR was being sent to people and some people were getting it and other people weren't getting it. And then people were saying, well, who gets it is special and they're getting inside knowledge. And we found out behind the scenes that some people were getting inside knowledge. Okay, Toddy was given inside knowledge to people, Manny was given inside knowledge to people, Jeffrey was given inside knowledge, some of them were given inside knowledge to me, things I didn't even report on. I haven't even begun to talk about the things that Jeffree Star told me, okay? I know why Jeffree Star and Manny aren't friends anymore, and it has nothing to do with legal. Manny knows why it is too, and I know why Manny ain't talking about it, trust me. I know why he ain't talking about it. So anyway, okay, so anyway... We were all there back in the day when all this went down, okay? Influencers using drama channels. This is Influencers using drama channels 2.0. Girl, it's kind of sad to watch it happen that you didn't learn from our mistakes, you know? It really is. But I think the play out will be a little bit different because I don't really think that many people give a shit anymore because we've reported on this stuff for so long that people are immune to it. So I really think that you'll be able to get away with it. I think it'll be just fine, girl. You'll still get your invites to the influencer parties. Trust, okay? Trust. There was an influencer around a couple years ago and was invited to a Halloween party. That did not fare well for that person, okay? Their relationships with influencers behind the scenes and things that they ended up saying in videos did not fare for them, okay? I'm just going to tell you, you are playing a very dangerous game. I personally do not give a shit about the Hollywood. I can tell you, I went out to Los uh, Angeles twice and I did collabs because I thought that's what you were supposed to do when you started YouTube and I wanted to do that stuff. I don't fucking want to do that stuff anymore, okay? I don't care. I can remember every person I met with in LA out there, I was like, I couldn't live out here. It's just like industry, industry, industry. I mean, when I was sitting there listening to you talk about the parties you went to, it was like sitting in Loie Lane's living room with her roommate, and they were talking about, oh my god, we go to David Dobrik's, you probably know those girls. We go to David Dobrik's parties, and we go to this party. Oh my god, I know that person. I met this person at Playlist Live. It is like, you are trying so hard, girl, to be an influencer. Well, it worked. You watched all of our videos, and you repeat what I say with fancy editing. So I'm glad it worked for you, girl, okay? Now, on my channel, you'll get integrity. You won't get a lot of fancy editing. You sure as shit won't get any predators over here, okay? No collaborations with predators on my channel, okay? You get bunch of fancy editing over there that tons of people want to watch because you get your information real quick, right? Okay, but over here, you're going to get the truth. And I'd rather have four people, like I said earlier in my other video, watching my channel, okay, for my integrity than wanting to watch a bunch of jump, sh scare shit, and, and worried about what I fucking look like, Okay? I'd rather have people be here because they think that I have integrity and they want to hear what I have to say. That, to me, is more important. And maybe when you're my age, you'll realize when you look back on your life that those moments that you didn't do the right things are the moments that you regret the most because you wish you had. Those people that you never stood up for that you could have, you wish you would have stood up for them. Those people that you wish would have stood up for you, you can't go back to that, that anymore, right? These moments in your life right now that you are exchanging your integrity for friendships with influencers and invitations to fancy parties and views on YouTube, you will not in 20 years be able to go back and change that, okay? And you've been working very, very hard for the last couple years. I thought on your channel, but after hearing your resume of birthday parties, influencer parties, TMZ, and on and on and on, it doesn't really seem to me like you really care that much about being um, an investigative reporter. It seems to me like you care more about being famous on YouTube. 
I hope it works out for you, girl. I really, really do, okay? I was a fan of yours. I am disappointed in you, all right? And I'm even more disappointed now that I looked up your Instagram and you continue to follow James Charles and Colleen Ballinger. And since I've said it about a million other people, okay, we know what that is. We already know what the, the word is for that. So let's go in here and read a couple more of these comments. I thought, I'm already, I'm not even into the trend mood thing. It's going to be a long video. Okay. Um, somebody said, girl, you are now on eggshells. Just don't, just don't be like deaf noodles. Somebody said, you are problematic like the ones you hang with. I can no longer support you. The ones you are friends with are the ones passing your pics around behind the scenes, girly girl. That's the truth. I don't know how they know that. <laughs> um... Somebody said, friends with predator protectors. You go, girl. Um, somebody said, nah, these influencers want to be in your pocket. Have you in their pocket, my dude. Don't fall for it for a fucking second. Mm -hmm. I warned you, girl. Um, somebody said, lame. Somebody said, I've always enjoyed your content and had nothing but respect for you, but I am so disappointed in you and your collaboration with Manny. Um, and yeah, it goes on and on and on. So... Very disappointing. Okay, now let's go over to uh, Trend Mood. Let's go to my comments because I left a comment on her video, which or her Instagram story, which I almost never do. Like I, like I really, I don't ever do that. So here it is. I don't know if I'm gonna. Okay, it's just James Charles palette. I'm not throwing it up in the video. I'm not doing no editing, and I could care less. It's literally she posted James Charles palette. Okay, two pictures of it. One with like the all the things around it, and then the other one is like on the easel. Okay, it's his marketing tool. Now I've been knowing for a while. Like people have been saying to me, okay. And I don't follow her. I unfollowed Trend Mood a long time ago. I don't. She never unfollowed me, so it doesn't really matter. But I have heard for a long time, allegedly. Okay, <laughs> say hi to your friends too, Trend Mood. But I, I have heard for a long time that Trend Mood really just cares about the view. I mean, I've been hearing this for years. Okay, about the views and the likes that she gets, the sponsorships that she gets on her Instagram. I don't know if this is true. I'm just telling you what I heard. Okay, um, the sponsorships that she gets on her. This is my opinion of a public figure based on things that I've heard. Okay, um, the likes that she gets, the sponsorships that she gets, the free PR that she gets sent, the invitations to the PR parties, all that kind of stuff. That's very important to her, okay? When you come for her and you say, I cannot believe that you are throwing up Jeffree Star's makeup, her excuse to that typically is something in the effect, I've seen her say this before, I don't really remember how she said it, but it's kind of like, hey, listen, I talk about makeup, any and all makeup, okay? Y'all, my allergies are killing me. I started coughing so bad. And I was like, okay, I have to stop this video. My allergies, my, my throat is itching so bad. I was like, I thought that the freeze would kill the allergies, but it's not. They're still killing me. It's like, I can, it's just, it's my throat is just like itching me like crazy. And I started coughing like crazy. So I was looking through these pictures, getting ready to talk about this James Charles thing. And so I was like, just start, stop the camera for a little bit, take a, a break for a few minutes, and then get back to your video. Okay, so let me get back to what I was saying, which was that Trend Mood posted this thing on here about James Charles. She says, revealed new eyeshadow palette, the basic canvas painted by James Charles. A neutral palette, 24 shades with mattes and glittery shimmers to create any glamorous makeup look. $55 will be available November 15th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on their website. Is it on your list? Now, she thanks this person, which makes me think that um, either this person, because I went and looked, and this person, like, she thanks her a lot, um, and her... Um, I don't know who this person is. Maybe a friend. Yeah, just somebody that's, like, on the... But anyway, she thinks a lot of people in her posts. Um, but it makes it look that way, like she wasn't sent this product or asked to review it. I don't know. I, I'm not speculating about that. I have no clue. But a lot of people are like, girl, how much were you paid for this? There's a lot of comments for that. Like, why would you continue to post something? Like, is it that important for you to... Uh, to advertise for, I mean, this is literally an advertisement. It's telling you how much money it is, when it's going to be released, all that kind of stuff, showing pictures of it. And people are like, is it really this important for you to continue to push predators? Like, why? Okay, like, this is not news in the makeup world, right? I don't think we need to bring any more attention to James Charles. He's got a whole team of people and friends that are doing that behind the scenes. So you're either one of those people that is continuing to help James Charles have a powerful platform that he has abused in the past, 
or you're not. Um, I would much more appreciate somebody that had a hundred followers on Instagram and was giving authentic reviews and not just posting up anything that they thought they were going to get them views, no matter how harmful it was or how detrimental it was to all this or to those victim stories. I think I would care more about following somebody that had a hundred followers and some integrity than somebody that was really that worried about an influencer party or just getting the, the hottest news out there. You you couldn't have skipped James Charles. Th this wasn't a reveal that you could have skipped. Oh, but your excuse is always like, I'm a makeup Instagram. This is what I do. Okay, girl. Well, I'm a drama commentary channel and there's some things I won't talk about. All right. So, you know, six and one, half a dozen of the other. Have some integrity. All right. So anyway, so her a comment section is not pretty. And I actually commented on here. My comment's showing up on mine, number one, but it's not. And I said, wow. Now, I never comment on people's stuff, right? Hardly ever. And somebody said, my thoughts exactly. And somebody said, she has to know about the comments, yet she is keeping it up. I wonder what she is being paid. And somebody said, wow, is right. And then somebody said, I have never seen a comment section like this, but I'm living for it. So let's read the comment section. I'm just going to read them straight down. I copied them all in case she deleted them, but she's not. So she must just want the traction on her uh, picture of this. Somebody said, no, we don't. I'm reading them straight down. Okay? No, we don't support predators over here, dog. Somebody said, ah, oh, yes, the groomer palette, a staple. Somebody said, love you, but this is not the one. It's time people stop supporting the, the vileness that is James Charles. Somebody said, stop commenting mean things about him. I can't like all the comments. Somebody said, stop supporting this groomer. What the fuck? I'm so over the beauty industry. I am too, sweetheart. I am so fucking over it at this point. And I have to tell you, I was texting a friend of mine about this earlier. And I said, um, hold on a second, where was it? Um, we were talking about all this stuff going on, and I said, um, something like, it doesn't really matter anymore, um, because these people just get away with it and they don't care and it's like the same 20 people that are running in circles and it's like literally it so reminds me of like the popular kids in high school and all they really fucking care about is wearing the nicest clothes getting invited to the nicest parties and stuff like that and they will literally walk over anybody to get there they don't care about people they don't they don't care about human beings they care about money they care about fancy clothes they don't have any integrity or any morals at all period like, I, I'm, to be honest with you, like, when I started doing this seven years ago, there were a lot of people that were problematic, okay? But there were a lot of really good people, too. And there still are. There still are. There are a lot of good beauty influencers out there. But so many people will give me names, and then, like, I'll look up Judy Smith. I feel so bad for whoever Judy Smith is out there that watches my channel. Girl, I ain't talking about you. Don't take it personally, okay? <laughs> But, like, I'll look up Judy Smith, because people will be like, oh, I love Judy Smith. She's not problematic at all. And I'll look up Judy Smith, and she has something problematic that happened. It's so many people. There are so many problematic people that I am, like, so over it anymore. I'm so over the beauty community. It's like, can you, is it just that hard to do the right thing? Trend mood, is it really that hard to not post a picture of James Charles? Is that one post that important to you? Are you friends with James Charles? Do you owe him favors? Like, girl, what is it? Why do you need to post that picture? Nobody Nobody fucking cares about James Charles launch. Nobody should care that does care about it, okay? So you're helping promote his brand. You're helping putting money in the pocket of a self-proclaimed predator that has never came out and taken accountability fully for his actions and just this year said that he was doing the same thing in DMs on social media that he said he wasn't going to get on again because they weren't dating apps. And you're putting his palette up there telling people when it will be available to buy, okay? And people don't have issues with this. Like, what is going on? Like, if this was literally in your neighborhood, you people would lose your fucking minds, okay? But it's okay because she's a makeup Instagram. Is it? Like, seriously, okay? God. And the people, the excuses that people make... For people like Trend Mood and Spill Sesh because they have a huge following, you know, and they're part of that huge group. Okay, but then I fuck up one time or this person over there fucks up one time and you guys expect the moon from us. The moon. And you know what? And I will still get on video and hold myself accountable and take, take accountability for things that I fuck up on and try to be a better person. You know why? Because that's who I am. That's who I want to be going forward. 
I don't hold these people in any kind of regard whatsoever. Don't want to meet them. Don't want to hang out with them. Don't care to have a dinner with them. Don't want to be in no fucking videos with them. Don't care if I'm friends with them. Don't care if I ever talk to them. Don't want to be friends with these people, okay? The people that are in my life are people that have integrity. Or at least are working on being better people, okay? So as of today... November 3rd of 2023, Trimood ain't working on being a better person because she's still posting pictures of James Charles shit. That's my opinion of a public figure. Go sit with Sue in the corner about that. So anyway, um, let me get to back to these comments on here. Um, somebody said, anyone have any other favorite makeup trend pages? Because I'm tired of trend mood supporting shitty people. I mean, this is not the first one. She's been called out for supporting a lot of people. Damn, no shade name called Predator. Came from the comments and they passed the vibe check. How about we not support pedos? Is that much, too much to ask? I'm literally reading these right down, okay? If there's a positive one, I will read it. I'm going to read them straight down until I get bored. Didn't know you like supporting PETA so much. This comment section is immaculate. Great work, Teeb. Aw, oh, just what I uh, always wanted. The makeup of a well-documented groomer and child predator. Hard pass. Hard, hard pass. Ah, oh, yes. A palette sponsored by a groomer and probably missing any legally required FDA warnings for pigments. Please don't support a predator. Not one hashtag reveals the predator's name, of course. How are predators like him able to have his own makeup company? He he should be in jail, not on a pedestal. He's able to have his own makeup company. Just I'll answer you this question because people like Trend Mood continue to post his products on her Instagram. People like Manny and UA continue to do reviews of his video or of his makeup. Other people continue to do reviews of his makeup. So people think if these people like him, this is why it's important to call out the people that protect James Charles and the people that protect Colin Ballinger. Okay, because they are helping keep alive the career that they have abused by hurting people with their platform of these people. It's extremely problematic, okay? Absolutely not. Besides the person behind the brand who we shouldn't be giving a platform to, it's just another basic neutral palette. Every single brand that makes eyeshadows has something like this. Somebody said, it looks so 2012 when nobody had good color palettes and looked like something a 12-year-old would like. Fitting for James. Somebody said, I don't want the Predator palette at all. Somebody said, disappointed that Trinity is supporting this behavior, shaking my head. Somebody said, I love the shade Predator. I'm literally reading these straight down, you guys. Okay? Somebody said, can we drop him entirely? Somebody said, child grooming has lasting consequences for the victims. I'm super shocked that anyone including Trimid, would post this on their page, let alone that anyone would buy it. Anyway, I draw the line here and will unfollow because what James did was not okay and you supporting it is not okay. You might want to look at who you are becoming in exchange for money. A fucking man. Well stated in this comment. The Predator palette by James Charles. Hashtag don't support Predators. Stop supporting a creep. Hard pass on anything he is launching. I don't support PETA's. How is it not canceled for good? But certain creators can breathe the wrong way and they're canceled. Exactly. Total double standard hypocrisy. Why are giving him promotion not a slay? Trim mood, this has to stop. Why are you continuing to support him? You work on mine. I know that you know what you, what he did. This isn't a good look for you. I prefer not to sponsor a minor's airfare. He refers... He referred to the underage boys as his victims. How can you support him? Why do you continue to... I'm literally... There is not one positive comment on here. My battery's about to die. Why do you continue to promote an admitted predator? Trim mood, do better. This is a predator you're promoting. Um, disappointed in the support of this brand. It is simple irresponsible to support this dude's brand. He is deplorable. Absolutely not. Hard pass on Predator Paints. What amount of money is worth supporting an admitted child predator? I am over Predator Paints. Um, it's, I mean, it just goes on and on and on, you guys. I mean, it's like there is not one positive comment on there. You cannot find one positive comment. Got all these people selling out their integrity. For what? Influencer parties and monies? monies. Influencer parties and money and that maybe these people that have 23 million subscribers might shout you high or oh I love that video or whatever. No you've been bought. Y'all have been bought. And it's so sad to sit here and watch it go down. It is sad. We got bought a little bit and we got decimated for it. Y'all got bought big. I hope it was worth it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.